Hey, George here. This is going to be my review of the Peak Design Stand Wallet. Now, I got this wallet as an accessory for the Peak Design Everyday Case, which I've already done the review for. I'll go over some of its key features, how I use it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and give you my thoughts as to when I should consider this. So if you've been thinking about getting this wallet, well then, this is going to be the video for you. So, let's get started. Now, there are two versions of the Peak Design mobile wallet, one called the Slim Wallet, and the other called the stand wallet. Now the stand wallet is basically the slim wallet except with a stand attached to it. Now this review is gonna be mostly focused on just the stand wallet because that's the one that I own. I did buy this myself. I got this at the Peak Design flagship store in San Francisco. So, you know, this video is not sponsored. You know, obviously it allows you to hold your phone up, you know, you place it on a table. You could do it either in portrait orientation or you could do it in a landscape orientation. It makes it very easy for you to do things like FaceTime calls or YouTube videos and things like that. The material is made out of this nylon canvas, which feels like it's weather resistant and probably pretty durable. Uh, and if you put cards in here, you know, it's held by this mag magnetic flap here, which actually is pretty, pretty secure. I mean, I've never had an issue with dropping cards or anything like that. Like once you put it in there, it's held in place by the magnet there. You could fit basically about seven cars in here. Uh, you might be able to fit a little bit more, you know, depending on how thick your cards are, but really I think seven is kind of the limit. You know, it's, it's, it gets really hard to actually stick more than that in here. So, but you know, seven cards is, is plenty in a lot of cases, you know, a couple credit cards, your ID, things like that. Now, if you only had, you know, one or two cards in here, it still works, right? Because I've, I've actually used thin wallets like this before where if you only have like one or two cards like they fall out pretty easily uh, because just somehow the way that it's 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 designed like it's either just wide open here or whatever attachment they have here doesn't really secure cards you know when it's only a few of them but with this thing because of the magnetic flap even if you just have one card in here it feels pretty secure so this thing actually has a lot of magnets in it, as with a lot of Peak Design products. The flap here, of course, is magnetic, and that's actually what keeps your cards secure in place without falling out. The back, of course, is also magnetic. That's how it attaches to your phone. Now this should also work with MagSafe phones, but also this would just attach to anything metal, like your refrigerator or something like that. There is also magnets that hold the two pieces together, actually. So you can kind of see when I close this, it will just latch on. Right? And that's great because it just means that when you have it on your phone, it's never going to really dangle, you know, because it got loose or whatever, because it's being held magnetically. Okay, now something about the hinge is that it doesn't seem like there's really any way to adjust the tension. However, I don't think you really need to because it's actually pretty firm, right? In fact, you know, kind of doesn't matter what angle I put the phone at. It holds pretty well. So I don't think there's any really risk of it ever getting too loose you know, over time, because it, it feels pretty firm. So that's good. Now, because with the stand, I can essentially use this in portrait mode or I can use it in landscape mode. It makes it really easy for me to use it for things like, you know, doing FaceTime calls or just watching YouTube videos, surfing the web, things like that. And because the profile is so thin, you know, you put this in a wallet, it basically doesn't really take up that much space. It's very easy to just leave it on all day and just pop out the stand where we need to use it. And in fact, sometimes I get to the office or whatever and take the phone out. It just, I just put it on my desk and it's got perfectly, you know, nice angled stand, right? When I get my push notifications or I get my email notifications, it's just, it's just right there, I can see it. Now, of course, you can also just place it on your desk in landscape mode as well, just down like this. and. You know, if you plug it into power, you know, you can basically activate nightstand mode. And so now you have a clock too. Now the slim version obviously is slimmer. It takes up less space, but 
I think one big advantage of the stand version is that when you do have it propped open, you know, and you're walking around, it makes it actually a very good way to hold your phone. And if you're going in and out of a subway, walking down the street, whatever it is, you just have a better way to hold the phone, right? Uh, I mean, it's already attached to the back of your phone, so you just pop it open and you stick your fingers in. And, and again, I mean, the magnets are very, very, very strong. So, you know, the odds of it falling off is actually not very high. So that's just another added benefit of the stand version. Now, with a capacity of about seven cards, what that means for me is that when I have to carry cash with me, it could be a little bit limiting just because, you know, you can't, if you go put cash in here, you have to roll, you have basically have to fold the cash up, right? And that's gonna make, make it a bit thicker, which means you can't actually have some cards then if you're gonna carry cash in here. Usually when I have cash in here, you know, I have a you know, maybe a couple of twenties or whatever, I end up being able to put in maybe like four cards, you know, like half, basically half the capacity in terms of cards if I carry cash. Now, sometimes though, if I do have too many cards, I mean, I kind of just have to put my ca the cash in my pocket or something like that, which is which is also not very secure. So I would just say that's kind of a limitation, right? Now, obviously this is designed for carrying cards, right? It's really meant for people who are, you know, more of a credit card user and don't really use cash. But for me personally, I do carry cash with me. I usually just use this when I know I only need to bring a couple things with me and I don't really need to carry cash. But if I do carry cash, yeah, I usually just end up putting cash in my pocket or somewhere else, use a rubber band or something like that. Uh, so I can just keep just cards in here. Okay, so the thing is, you know, is this something I would recommend? Well. I definitely think if you're a minimalist type of person, then, you know, I mean, obviously, right? Obviously I would recommend this. And I mean, I would recommend this probably more than some other products I've used before, just because like I said, actually just the magnet flap itself is like a big value add because your cards never fall out. Uh, again, I've used slim wallets like this before and sometimes the cards fall out if you don't have enough cards in there which can be very annoying, right? Like sometimes I just have like three or four cards and it's like, why is the thing falling out? Uh, but with this, you can have as little as one card and it's not gonna fall out. So that's good. Now, in terms of, you know, whether or not you should get a slim version versus the stand, stand version. Personally, I do think that the stand version adds enough value to justify the additional thickness. All right, so that's my review of the Peak Design Stand Wallet. Now, I hope you got something out of this video, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this where I talk about products that I've owned, products I've used, things I like about them, things I don't like about them, how I use them, maybe things that you don't know yet about them, things like that. So if that's the kind of content you're interested in, then please stick around. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.